Hi everybody, this is Bob Irving inviting you to join us on Saturday when the Blue Bombers meet the Calgary Stampeders at Investors Group Field. What sort of a conquest are the Bombers facing this week? Well, it's similar to the one last week when they visited the Edmonton Eskimos. Uh, Edmonton, a very strong team in Calgary, is every bit of that and uh, maybe a little bit more. They're 12-2 and two and you don't get there without having a great team. They'll have their quarterback, Bo Levi Mitchell, back in the lineup. Of course, John Cornish has missed a bunch of games this year, but he's expected to play on Saturday, and uh, he's a bull. So where do you start with the Bombers in terms of their priorities and their keys? Well, I think it's very basic, just as it was last week. They've got to get their running game going. That's been problematic for them all season long, and particularly of late. They just have to get Paris Cotton uh, moving with the football on the ground to take some pressure off their passing game. Their offensive line has got to be a lot better than it was last week. And defensively, well, they got to play the game of their lives, really. They've got to tackle well. Uh, Cornish will kill you if you give him an inch, he'll take a mile. Uh, special teams have to be outstanding. I just think to sum it up, the Bombers have to play really their best game of the season. And when I look back on the year, they have played a lot of good football. And if they can somehow summon up the kind of performance that they turned in earlier in the year where they're solid on defense and they get some things going on offense, move the football, hold on to it for periods of time, then I think they got a chance to pull an upset. I look back to last year when a 1-8 and eight Bomber team played an 8-1 and one Saskatchewan team in the Banjo Bowl and the Bombers won that game. So all things are possible. It'll take a Herculean effort for the Bombers to win this game. But if they come up with uh, you know, their top performance, who knows what might happen. Maybe they can knock off the mighty Calgary Stampeders. Join us on Saturday for the broadcast. We'll have the pregame show at 4 and the play-by-play -play at 6 on 680 CJOB.